what's up? Hey now, sorry it took so long. I had a lot of setting up to do. Uh, you know, I'm juggling three phones. I, you know, I don't know. I forget one I record on because it's easier to upload to YouTube on this one. Except for when I'm doing the uh, Instagram that I don't have to do that. Then I have to do another phone. Because I confuse myself. Because I'm not technologically, I'm not modern technologically. I didn't grow up since, you know, 19, was 1994. Well, I grew up through 1994. But, you know, all those people born after 1994, they're supposed to be at a disadvantage to everything. Yeah. So there was a sweet spot of being born and growing up someplace in there. Oh, look, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff I wanted to talk to you about. Come to think of oh, it. really? But, uh, yeah. but you can start off first. Let me just, let me just reach for my book here. Uh, you know, you're the only one I'd be writing notes sometimes, you know. I talked, I talked <laughs> to my guys, I talked to my guys in South Africa. That's kind of interesting. It's it's really it's I'm I'm have so much faith in the young people. When I say young people, I say from uh, I'll give them a little bit of leeway. Go down to twenty five. I don't really want to go down to twenty five, but twenty five to thirty five. That group. Yeah. I, 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 I'll, I'll go to forty, but I don't want to go to forty. Twenty five to thirty five. Those people are there on the move. You know, I think even forty is too late. Those people ain't they 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 everybody's polluted except for the people who say look. They keep on saying you know. Or wait, or whatever have you, or you know, the time will do it. They say we're going to take the time now. <laughs> That's yeah. what they're saying to me. Anyway, the, but 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 I, I'm, I have tremendous faith in it. I really want to get out. I mean, I really want to get out of South Africa because basically, what's what I said before. I don't know if I laid this on you before, but you know, I think the voting age should be. Yeah, we did this before. From basically, sixteen, I say fourteen, to about sixty, sixty-five. Somewhere around there, you know, I wouldn't go up to 70, but, you know, I guess I do have self-interest, but I'd say up to about 60, just, yes, it's about 65, 60, 60, whatever it is. He said, what happens to people after 60 or 85? Shouldn't there be more? No, you just got to lobby somebody between, you know, uh, uh, 14 and, and and 60 if you want your, your views done, you know. That's the vote. The voting takes place in those people because voting is only a poll anyway. So yeah. if, I, if anything, I would, I would suggest that that, that those those if the people who can vote between fourteen and sixty, they they replace the electoral college. That's how we get our our things, whatever. I don't. They replace something. I don't want to get into that part. Um, but there was some stuff I wanted to uh, see. The thing is, first of all, let me just not I remember. I gave you solutions before. I told you I could I could solve the whole race problem. So we did that one already. There's this other thing that I can say, basically, and they have it in already because I heard this thing with Tulsi Gabbard was on with uh, uh, Nina Turner uh, this past week on, on Nina Turner's uh, podcast. And uh, I always I always wanted Tulsi Gabbard because I knew she could stand up to the military, you know. And plus, she just makes so much sense. But the first thing I would do, when I say I would do, I'm talking about the people from the bottom, the we, where we are now. I'm not talking about the leadership, the, the CBCs and the... You know, the the progressive caucus, this and the and the tainted people, that whatever that is, I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the people that we can put on the ballot. We can put on that 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 ranked choice voting. We can put that on the ballot in 2022, in referendum and I'll allow 2022 elections. Every state, you know, as as they put as as, as fervently as we put on what's that um, legalized marijuana, whatever it is, we can put on you know weighted voting. Yeah. Just, just that alone. But, but you can do a whole lot of other voting with some. But the, the how to top of all, well, weight, weighted voting. Those people that want to get into that, those so-called progressive ones, they jump on that. The people who don't want no war, the hardcore war people, they jump on something else and jump on some other people. You know, yeah, of course, exactly. of course, the ADOs, the reparations people, and they they got a whole lot of different. They all jump at the same time too. You know, and plus, but and when we do jump the ADOs people, what we got to do. You also got to cut out these these people like the Cobra people and stuff like that. They've been going on for years and years and years, and ain't did nothing. Just got in the way and continue to get in the way. They just boule, you know. I think all the boule Brahmins, they've all been exposed. This is what I loved about Donald Trump. I'm sorry, man. I have to now admit it. Having some secret, uh, whatever for Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I shouldn't say that. That's not that true. Here's what happened. Early on, when Donald first got elected. 
The first thing I said is lead this, ignore this boy. He's going to do for his own. You know what he's going to do? Concentrate on what you got to do. It's the first thing I said. Okay. But I was down in South Africa, and they were teasing me about Donald Trump. Talk about South Africa. I got this wine, man. I, I, I found it last year when I first, when I came to South Africa, South Africa, when I came to um, St. Louis. Not last year, last year, but last year before that, whenever, summer, whatever time I came. It was this brand it calls uh, 19 Crimes. And it's from, you know, it's from Australia. Australia does really good wine. It's from Australia, right? And it's a red. I like the Shiraz. I got the Shiraz. But they have 19 crimes. Now, what happened was they had these criminals, and they give the criminal background. Some woman did this, whatever. And, it, they, and that's, the, that's, the, that's the, whatever, the, um, the image they have on the bottle. It's 19 crimes, right? It's a great, very good red. This is a different kind of red. Now, they have this one, a limited edition called a Cali Red, right? I'm going to post it on my Instagram so you'll see it, but I'm also showing it now. And okay. it, it, when you read the thing, um, uh, well, was, oh, man, oh, man, I could put my glass, other glasses on. Uh, it tells you what, what it's made of, you know, what, 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 what the, the, the flavor is. And for some reason, I read this one. I really liked it. It was a true story of a, da, da. oh, they, they have this limited one that has Snoop Dogg on the cover. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, and on the back it says, 19 Crimes Tells the True Story of uh, uh, some, Something Maker. I mean, I don't have my glasses, man. Where's my other glasses? I don't know. I can't read this thing. A anyway, it goes on to say some sort of the spirit of the lives of the culture uh, 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 today through and some cultural something like Callie's uh, own Snoop Dogg. Called, called Cali's, Cali's. Anyway, there's this red wine they got called Cali, Cali Red, and they, they they got Snoop Dogg's really nice, great picture of Snoop Dogg on the cover. You know, it's really, really good. It's good marketing. This is what celebrities are good for. You know. Yeah. But what? But that? But but see, they can do so much with just so what they. We can. Everybody at your level. Yeah, we know we ain't got no wealth like that. We can change the world like that, like like that. But we can change another way. All those living that he could say, okay, nineteen crimes. Here we're gonna do, man. Okay, I got this special thing coming up for blah 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 blah. You gonna we gonna just have a wine that is gonna have it's gonna be a crime party, and it's just your wine. And my fish, maybe we we'll get a couple of more rappers or, or or famous, really famous black uh, uh uh criminals in history. You know what I mean? A limited, a limited whatever whatever whatever, and do and do that. And then then now all these profits, you know, is gonna go to whatever donation is is gonna go to blah. You know, get to, I'm trying to say celebrities. Are doing this thing wrong. First of all, if I was a celebrity, I have in my group, like say for instance, somebody like Kevin Hart, he has an entourage. Say he's, I'm just gonna name it, just say a number, just, just to make, make a difference. So he has uh, 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 nine people in his entourage, right? Yeah. I mean, this is excluding, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, nuclear family. I'm not I'm talking about excluding the brothers and the cousins and hang on like that. I'm talking about nine people that he cohorts, employs, you know, three bodyguards, two, whatever, whatever, do that, that, that. Now you say, okay, now you, I'm going to give you all each a certain amount of money uh, a month. You can pay Patreon to support certain channels. You all got to do different people. I don't want everybody doing Joe Rogan. No, no, no. You got to go and find some, something to do that nobody is doing that's unique to you because you're, you're going to, as you study that, whatever that rabbit hole that you're in, you're going to report it back back every once in a while. We're going to talk about stuff. You're going to report back to your to the group of what you're supporting, what, what, what channel, what Patreon you're supporting and why, and how much you've given and how much you want to give, and do you think, as, as a group, that we should uh, match the funds, maybe, you know, blah, blah. You know, you, you, you do something like that. You, you talk like that. But there's, there's little things like that that can happen. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, I'll do that later. Anything, anything you have to go, but I'm going to do this one last, I think. Um, uh, <laughs> this is an old thing. Uh, they, they, meaning, you know, the, the forces that be, they, they they destroy. We have to clean up. That's the downtrodden. Got to clean up. Just just a thought that went through my thing. No no particular reason. Um, there's this whole thing of that throughout history. What's happened? We had again. We had this group of people. I think I was on this group of people thing. I think they think about white supremacy a lot. That basically they've hacked humanity. They're hacking humanity. They don't want humanity to be humane, so they hack it for nefarious purposes. Just a new word to use there. Okay, I get oh, that. So I say again. I said I get that actually. Yeah, uh, but I, that's not a, that's not for me. I, I was 
this, what's this, 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 the, the, this, this movie out, the, the social network, whatever it is, exposes what Google and them do you know, psychologically or whatever, what the real deal is, has a little, so is that a character, but has to do some, some other stuff, you know? By the way, I'm going to pour some of this red wine, I'm going to drink some of this Snoop, Snoop, Snoop inspired red wine. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm listening. I think I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because, like, uh, what you said before about um, uh, stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Uh, I went back and looked at a show that I used to watch, right? And this show was um, written and created by these brothers, and it was an animated show, right? Mm-hmm. Called The uh, Legend of Chamberlain Heights. The Legend of Chamberlain Heights. Never heard of it, really. Yeah, yeah. It's a local. Well, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Let me let's go. Where's how is it on the YouTube now? You, what, what? Where is it? Where did it exist? Yeah, you could probably find like um, clips from it on YouTube, but it's on Comedy Central. It was on Comedy Central. Oh, it was on Comedy Central. Okay, that that was the, that was the parent or whatever that, that did it for that. Yeah. Okay. But you know they, you, know, you got to go on their um, their app or you know their website to find like episodes and stuff. I don't think um yeah they're keeping it in this in this regular rotation like on demand like a South Park or something like that. Yeah, like, I got you. I got you. Yeah. But that's why, you know, kind of funny. It's like, well, typical, you know, anything that, you know, that we do is like, okay, we're going to make it hard for you to find. But I think they only did two seasons. Huh. And that show was like, that show had a lot of stuff in it. It had a lot of elements in it. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Okay. Like, the I reason why I brought it up because uh, there was one scene, and I'm talking about, this was early on in the stuff man's, you know, presidential career. When you, when you say that, were you talking about uh, 2012, 2000? Uh, no, 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 I'm talking about like, this is like maybe 2017 or 2016 or 2017. Now okay. that we just got it. Okay, okay. Right? But the comment the brother made was, you got two brothers, right? And um, this episode was about gentrification, right? Mm-hmm. In the neighborhood. on YouTube and interview section on this channel that people should be watching this on. You know, I've interviewed Trump supporters several times. And I, I, I generally just let him talk because I'm trying to find out what it was because I want to come back and continue interviewing him uh, yeah. like that. But it's, it's a couple of things that I realized. And one is something that the, that the Democrats will never have, which is they don't back down. If, no, if, okay. it's, it's worse than triple yeah. down. Is there something that quadruple down? Is this, it's worse than circle of rabbits? The, 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 the wagons, rather, I should say. It's, it's like, is the, they say three-dimensional chess. This is quad, quadrimensional, quad-dimensional, you know, uh, clock, whatever. The, never, it's the S, like I said, it's the S program. You just don't give up, you know? Yeah, exactly. And then the other thing that they do is like the guy I talked to, this guy went to Harvard. The guy actually went to Harvard. And he has a legacy. I didn't get into his legacy. His mother, his mama was really rich from Texas. A bunch of other stuff. But the thing is, they always just say, well, well I didn't know that. They lying. Well, you, well, you, well, you from Harvard, they'll find out. What do you mean you didn't know? You, you didn't hear. I didn't hear about that. Oh, you didn't hear about that? Well, well, well how would you hear about Don't tell me it's all over news. I said, you go do some research. <laughs> you know? So anyway, respect, I'm sorry. Let me just do one thing. Again, I started getting on this thing about research and how we people can now outdo this mainstream media. Very simple. We all become the eye of stones of our of our little community. All eye of stone did, and you should be able to get this because everything should be online now. In other words, every time they're talking to the congressional record is something where you know, like like a court, they got to take the stenographer. Everything somebody says, some bill comes up, somebody wants to put an attachment to it. They have to the the legislator. The, the person that's doing that has got to get up there and speak to the bill. They want to put it in a menu and stuff like that. 
Oh, but now we should have people that just monitor that stuff because it has to come out. Even yeah. has to be recorded. I, I'm talking about audio and, and as well as just visual and, and you know, and, and, and things. And we start reporting on that instead of listening to these people come out for some press conference. Yeah. Well, like I said um, in previous convos, it's all about the data now. Yep. It's all, I mean, like, literally, you know, they have the consciousness of the average person now if everything is data, if you look at sports, right, it's not even a, ma a matter of, like, back in the day where you go, oh, well, he was able to get this amount of rebounds and he took this amount of shots and all that. No. They have the whole analytics game down to a science where yep. it's like they're projecting what you will do mm. before you even do it. Yep. yep. And it's like, well, <laughs> and you talk to, like, you know, the data-driven people, meaning, like, the generation that you were talking about before, you know, the 94 and um above, mm -hmm. you know, they're like, yo, because the data says so. You're like, well, where'd you get this data? <laughs> yo, they show you the data. <laughs> it's online. We mean where I get the data. Huh? Where, where, where everybody saying, else gets the data from. <laughs> you, I'm saying, bro, what I'm saying is, yeah, you can go online, but the people pre-94, they're going online, and they're in the Twitterverse, so to speak. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's like more gossip. He said, yeah, he yeah. Said this, that, and the yeah, other. Yeah, 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 that's Maybe true. an occasional, like, niche yeah. of something that you're into and stuff like that. Yeah. But what they ate, the what they're eating. People, they find the data. They go, not, you're, you're, you're talking about metadata. You're talking why about... Why I like this person, you, you, why I don't like this person. No, they go to the data. Yeah, but I'm saying that you not only do they go to the data, I guess you might as well say they go to the metadata, the underlying yeah. data that that, yeah. that that everything is, is based on. And that's what's beautiful about this thing. But the point is anybody can do that, which is why the blockchain is important. Because then once you start having to put this stuff down, anybody can pull up anything. So all these people, you can shut them down real quick. Um, I was listening to Dr. Rennie's, <laughs> you know, here's, okay, should we go over this again? Let me go over this one more time real quick. Okay. Right now, you know, I'm what's called. One time I was in this bus, I was taking a little ride, uh, and even one of the kids know me from college, you know, from university. He was talking to me, and after a while, he said to me, "You're a socialist." I said, "No, I'm an Anthony, right?" And all that yeah. means is that I've been through so much stuff. All that stuff comes in, comes in, comes in, and then then I realized that re recently I said, when I say I'm an Anthony, Anthony, the Anglo root of Anthony means incomparable. So I'm an incomparable. You can't comprehend why I am. You're talking, you're talking like that. You, you're extracting what's related, what you relate to, to make, yep. to, 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 to say that I'm what you are, to support what your position is. You're not listening yep. to who, you're not listen, really listening to me, you know? Yep. But part of this thing about being an Anthony, if, 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 if you will, is that, you know, you're exposed to, 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 to bunches, to, to bunches and bunches and bunches of, of, of things. So I'm up here uh, uh, thinking, man, you know, these folks, I have no idea why they think they can keep continue to get away with they can get away with. It doesn't make no sense. So I'm listening to so I listen to a range of people. Now, like I said, I use uh, what do you call that um, a compensatory concept as Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. as like my weekly preacher. Like you go to church and you the preacher is preaching from the Bible, but he's just saying different points of the Bible. He's just saying the same things over and over again. If you go to the church for a year, you will have see here the preacher say the things a different way. 25 million times, you know? Yeah, exactly. So that's, so, 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 but I need that. I need that, I need that one preacher. Don't get me wrong. I have, I have a spiritual advisor when I deal with religious matters, you know, personal religious matters. But as far as a congregation, I, 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 not even a congregation. My congregation is something else. My congregation is on a dance floor. You give me a good house party. That's, that's my congregation. But we don't get into that right now. Um, but my preacher would be Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., which, which incidentally, I can take a house track and, and, and play him talking into a house track like I did with, with, uh, with uh, Bob Rantier. I did this mix with Bob Rantier and, and, um, and uh, 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 Voices of, of, of Blackness, uh, 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 Do You Believe, whatever. I did a mix with that. So I can do that with anybody, including my preacher, if I want to do Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. If I'm, if I'm at a party, then, I'm, then I'm, that would be in the mix. <laughs> you see? That's how, that's how bad my preachers are. Anyway, not, let's not get into that. So that's what that is. But my political head, the, 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 the organization, I'm looking around, I want to use 
politically is uh, Adolf. You know what I mean? That's that's what yeah. it is. They're the ones that can pierce that thing and break it through. Now for like certain um, uh, political talking points, if you will, political uh, research, historic this, historic that, then I might use like Professor Black Truth. I might use, um, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, 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 Greg Carr. You know, uh, if I want to hear people snap, people being snapped on, you know what I mean? Like, you're like really trolling the, the, the coon people, right? Then I got yeah. Tariq Nasheed, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, yeah. I, I got the Black Authority. I got those people to do that. You know, I can do it like that, right? If, 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 uh, uh, oh, and then of course, then there's Dr. Randy Short. <laughs> yeah. This is a category unto itself. <laughs> because let me just say, I, okay, he's, he's, he's entertaining to me, but he's very serious and, and I, I know his fabric and what he wants to do. And, 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 and I support it. Let's just put it the way I support it. I don't, you know, I support it. That's all I, uh, that's all I do. But it's, he's also for me for entertainment purposes, not only, but if it, for entertainment, for entertainment purposes also. All of the people I deal with are for entertainment purposes also. Yeah, I get you. You know, so basically, so so I don't get confused because I only pick two things. One politically, I align with ADOS, whatever their political uh, suggestions are. I I, I I deal with that because they have an org. They're re really an organization. I'm not going to try to go to NAACP or any of the people or, or to get what they because they they yeah they don't. They don't do it right. I don't think they do it right. So that's that's the way I get that. And then I have my religious thing, and that's it. That's all I have to worry about those two things. You say, well, what about the environment? What about what, what about? I say, what about it? Don't you got enough other people with that? First of all, the yeah. environment. If 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 a glacier just broke off the sides of Manhattan, we're we're done anyway. Why am I going to fight for a cause that I know is done? Climate change. We're we this species as a species. We're done. Or, or I, I could say politely, I just say there's other people. There's other people dealing with it. So I don't have to really deal with it as heavy as, as you. I have concern like you, you know, but I don't have to deal with it. But my thing is like, that's done. Nuclear war, they're worried about the, uh, 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 somebody's got the bomb. My thing is with nuclear war, if one or two people shut off their bombs, that's it. It's all over with. So why am I going to fight around that? Why am I going to put my energy into that? That don't make no sense, you know? So the only two things I'm concerned, you say, well, what about Medicare and Medicaid and all, or the health and stuff like that? Well, you know, I understand. I understand. I have again, I have concern, but me personally, since like I'm in the VA, you know, and whatever it is, then I'm not worried about that. Now I'm worried about my dental thing because that's a whole other thing. But I see what's going on with that. So I don't worry about that. That's not my issue, right? I only have two issues, and this is my point. I think everybody should only pick two issues. You have concern about these other issues, but you only pick two issues. My two well, issues. I always see that you know other. That's what they do. They focus on, like, what issue affects me directly. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So, you know, so... That's, that's how I feel we got to do it. Same thing. So my two issues what is... Very, you directly? It's very simple. It's a passenger rail train, you know, throughout the country. That would be Amtrak, whatever. Wherever rail lines, I don't care who's making the rail lines all throughout the country. You travel by train. And reparations. Done. Well, I have to go do with anything else like that. If I get reparations, I get a lot of this other stuff done. Yeah. That's what people don't get. That's the other thing. Why do you want to pick an issue that if you get it done, you just got to move to the next issue? But my whole thing is always, you know, when it comes to climate change, people have a lot to say. When it comes to um, Medicare, people have a lot to say. When it comes to reparations, oh, well, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. That's <laughs> never going to happen. Oh, but climate change is going to happen, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, Medicare for All is going to happen. The reason why it is going to happen is because you believe it. But when it comes to that, oh, no, I don't believe that. I just don't believe that. But so you see, like, <laughs> go ahead, I'm listening. Like, you know, I just don't even, it's like, I just go with the beliefs. Well, here's the... the go with the beliefs. Well, since you, since you uh, jumped on reparations, oh, no, I just dropped my glasses. Or my other glasses, not my reading glasses. Um, since you mentioned reparations, that's the other thing I wanted to say. That's all I was really going to talk about uh, this week. Uh oh, this is wrong. Hello, knock you off. Oh, you're back. Sorry. Yeah, I'm getting old now. Yeah, I know my phone hit and I accidentally called somebody. They're probably going to try to call me back. Um, 
these smartphones, man, they're too smart. On reparations, I figured something out. Now, this, now we already we already know that what happens when you, that if you have lineage going through this this experience of the Jim Crow and and through uh, uh, um, you know, the 13th Amendment, whatever, or, or even the prison, the child the prison pipeline um, through slavery, then you're ADOS. You know, you don't have to admit that you're ADOS, but that's what you are. That's part of your lineage. No problem. Okay. So then you have the political movement of ADOS. That, uh, uh, that, that means that politically, how do you want to deal with the thing? Now, most people, as you've indicated, uh, as, as we all know, I say reparation, you ain't going to get it. That means you're not aligning yourself with any of the, uh, of the, of the realities that's working to get reparations. That's that, right. mean, that means that you're not being politically engaged to reparations, which is fine. That is a, uh, uh, a grouping of people, you know? Yep. Yeah. Just like you got ADOS in the nose and little nose that's doing what they're doing. Okay. Then I have this other uh, 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 thing that people don't actually, we haven't really defined reparations. I know we got these books on or whatever have you. But there is a mistake that I realized this week that I've been thinking about. Let me run it past you that's been made. When people say reparations, they start comparing and saying, well, you're not like the, like, like the Jews, uh, like that. Now remember, that was because there was a country, you know what I mean, that, that persecuted a part of their people that were uh, that were citizens like they were, and they did it right. by religion, which means that some 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 people could still you know pass or get through whatever happened because it wasn't a skin color thing you know there wasn't a uh, if they want they labeled you with a pink with a pink star that's how they labeled you you know uh, I guess if they walked every all the men around or with, with no with, with 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 their with their schlongs hanging out then you know they could say well. You know, people are circumcised or, or uh, you know, are Jewish, and so we're going to uh, discriminate everybody according to circumcision or something like that. So it would amount to the same thing. Uh, so, so, so that would amount to the same thing. Now, but the thing is, uh, when Germany paid the Jews reparations, they was paying that segment of people. When the Japanese were, in the United States, when they were paid reparations, they were paid because an injustice was done to them, just like the Germans, an injustice was done to them. Uh, so the Japanese and the justice was done to them during the blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, then you had the uh, with the Native Americans again. You know what I mean? You stole your land, and injustice was done to you. No worries. That's 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 whatever. Now with 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 uh, Ados, and injustice was done to us, just like all these other groups. So yeah, that's 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 one part of reparations because you have to pay for this injustice. Now when you pay for this injustice that was done to us. It wasn't just uh, uh, an injustice done like that. It was done on a number of levels. So your reparations of repair would have to do with education, aspects of education, psychological, some mental health kind of things, of medical, med medical and medical kind of things. All these repairs have to be done, right? Right. Then we have another aspect that none of these other people have. Not even the Japanese are supposed to have built the railroad and all that stuff. Is that we cleared the, we cleared the land. We did the work. That made yeah. it so all this stuff is possible. That is a separate. That is a different kind of reparations. When you yeah. when when they keep on saying like the like the Jews or or, or like the Native Americans or like the Japanese, they are just talking about one form of the reparations do us, yeah. you know, or the debt do us. That's what and they want to talk about that. They can talk about that, but we have this other form. That's why one thing I'm calling for right away as they set up this um. You no, know, because they have to set up commissions to to, to show to, to dig out all the data and show where all this stuff was done. And it would be interesting because we can have shadow commissions as they set up the commission. We can have all over the country, all over different uh, different classes, whatever different uh, uh, academic process. You can say, "Hey, we set up the commission too. Let's all do our research in our area of the stuff that was done. We mirror whatever the commission is coming up with. We come up with our version of 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 in our area, or even go over their work. That kind of thing." So this could be a huge project. So, but with with, with this, with, but but this has to do uh, this other part of reparations has to do with what we actually built and da 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 da. That's the reparations that nobody else has, right? That's right. Yeah. That's the that's repair. Now I'm not even going to go into because part of that, like that mental thing would be the Jim Crow was a mental thing. You know the the, the whole taking taking away of financial stuff. You know burning down a town. I mean I don't know what towns in Kingston or or Guyana, or whoever got burnt down because they were so prosperous, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, so that that kind of thing. So, so anyway, so 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 that that's it. You know, that's that's my little report for this week. That was that's what I wanted to say for this week that I that I got out. Well, yesterday I saw, um, you know, I actually um, was looking to watch this movie for a while. So I saw that movie, uh, Free State of Jones. You saw that? I heard about it, but I didn't see it. But I, I, I'm interested in it, but I haven't got a chance to look at it yet. I was going to watch it yeah, next week. It's an interesting film. You should check it out. Because, yeah. I mean, if you're looking at it, especially like from an ADOS point of view, if you watch it, mm-hmm. it, it tries to cover so many areas. That it's it's like you know, it's oh, it's like categorized in a way. Yeah. But it shows you things that are just like, wow, they just took that one area. They could make a whole movie about that. They could make a whole movie about this. They could have made this a series of movies. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it is. That's what stories are. That's what's so yeah. frustrating. We keep on hearing the same stories all the time. The same stereotypes keep on coming out. There's no reason for that. We have yeah. you, our our rich heritage. Goes, you don't have to even go all the way back to Egypt and all those kind of stories. You know, you can go back five years. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got this radio station here that plays basically music from the nineties. You can just stay in the nineties and make a whole whatever things just about the nineties. You know, yeah, that's true. So that's 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 what it is. You know. So anyway, so so those are the things that that, that came across my little uh, world this week. I've been 